Representing Proportional Relationships with Tables, Lesson 3.1a. In 7th grade math 4.2, we learned that a proportional relationship is a relationship between two quantities in which the ratio of one quantity to the other quantity is constant. Here we have 1 half, 2 fourths, 3 sixths, 4 eighths, 5 tenths. As the numerator is going up by 1, the denominator is being multiplied by 2. Just like this 1 half. 2 times this numerator is 4. 2 times this numerator is 6. 2 times this numerator is 8. It's a constant change. Have you ever heard of a furlong? A furlong is a measure of distance. One mile is equal to eight furlongs. It's almost obsolete. It's still used in horse racing. So here we have a table for distance in miles and distance in furlong, and one mile is eight furlongs, which means two miles is 16 furlongs, three miles is 24 furlongs, etc. Every number in the bottom row is eight times the number in the top row. So if you remember, columns go vertically and rows go horizontally. We can use the data in the columns to find the ratio of the distance in furlongs to the distance in miles. And we can write each ratio in simplest form. So for furlong to mile, so think of this fraction bar as the word two. We have furlong to miles. Well, that's going to be eight to one. And if we have 16 furlongs, to 2 miles, its simplest form is 8 to 1, and 24 furlongs to 3 miles is in simplest form is 8 to 1. They're all 8 to 1. All of the ratios are equal to 8 to 1. So for furlongs to miles, we have an 8 to 1 ratio. If we know a distance between two points in miles, we can find the distance in furlongs by multiplying the miles by 8. If we have 6 miles, we can just multiply 6 times 8 and know that it's 48 furlongs. And if we know the distance between two points in furlongs, we can find the distance in miles by dividing the furlongs by 8. So if we have 72 furlongs, we know what it is in miles by doing 72 divided by 8. That's 9 miles. We can find the distance in furlongs that corresponds to miles. We set up and solve a proportion. We have furlongs to miles, it's 8 to 1. So what is the distance in furlongs that corresponds to 7 miles? We do 8 to 1 and x over 7. We know 1 times 7 is 7, so we multiply the 8 by 7. We get x is equal to 56. 56 furlongs corresponds to 7 miles. We can use a pattern to extend the table. We have our distance in miles and our distance in furlongs. One mile is eight furlongs. So to complete the table, we multiply each number of miles by eight to get the quantity of furlongs. We have seven, and seven times eight is 56. We have eight, eight times eight is 64, and nine times eight is 72. Here we have a table and it's showing years to months. One year is 12 months, two years 24 months, and so on. But we're missing this one. The ratio of years to months is 1 to 12, and we can complete the table by setting up a proportion. We have a ratio of 1 to 12, and we have some number y to 60. We think, well, 12 times 5 is 60, so we must need to multiply the numerator by 5. And that means y is equal to 5. So I'm going to put a 5 here. Our proportional relationship was 1 to 12 is equal to y to 60. We can also cross multiply to find y. We do 1 times 60, which is equal to 60. And then we have 12y is equal to 60. Well, that means y is going to be equal to 5. If we had the ratio of 8 to 1, and it's equal to x to 7, we think, well, 8 times 7 is 56, so 1x needs to be 56. Remember, when the 
coefficient and the variable are next to each other. That means multiplication. So we have 1 times some number is 56. Well, x must be equal to 56. Okay, we're finished with 3.1a. We're going to move on to b and talk about representing proportional relationships with equations. So remember, I'm going to have those 7th grade math videos linked in the description if you missed them or if you don't remember. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.